Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about Bitwig Studio and Cubase because Cubase announced a new version, uh, version 14 of Cubase here and a lot of new features in there. I have no idea what's actually new and what's old because I haven't used Cubase in at least 10 years. My last version was Cubase 6 or something like this. And uh, yeah, there are some new features here. Um, but the biggest feature is um, that you can now import and export DAR project files. And DAR project is actually a side project of the Bitwig developers and some other guys. Um, it's kind of an open source format for exchanging projects. So I want to try this here with Cubase 14. I have the trial version installed. Um, so don't be scared. I don't want to be use Cubase in the future. It's just for this video, right? So I have here this drum bass tune. <laughs> Very simple, a lot of VSTs in there, also some Bitwig internal stuff here. I'm using phase four for the base and also modulations here, here and there. So I want to see what's actually happening when I export this here with DAW project. You can see here, you can export this uh, to this new format or to this open source format. And I just go here for the uh, file directory or for my main folder. Bitwig uh, project folder. Let's hit save. Um, so yeah, with this format, you can get, then go to Cubase here. And this is all in German. I guess I can switch this to English, but I haven't found a way to do this. So you can uh, create your new project in Cubase, but we can also go to uh, file and then hit import. And then we have here AAF, which is also some kind of exchange format, also OMF. I think this is really old. And we have now DAW project. And I think the big benefit of DAW project is that it's modern. So you have a lot of things in there. I think something like uh, MPE, so like pitch informations for each node and also a modulation and so on. So let's use DAW project here. And now um, Cubase wants me to define a new folder where I save all the informations into. So I go here to my Cubase project Cubase folder and say, can I just make you a new uh, folder? Let's create a new folder and say, um, what's the name? Real Batman import. Okay, so let's use this folder. And then he wants me to select the star project file, which is in my Bitwig project folder here, this one. Open this up. Let's see what's happening. Um, okay, so something is happening. So this is okay. So this is how Cubase 14 looks like. And uh, to be honest, um, yeah, it looks okay. It looks a bit like uh, Excel 2012 to be honest, uh, but it looks like it imported all the stuff. So we have here the audio files and we have some note clips. We can open the note clips. Nice. Okay. So let's see what happens when I hit play here. Okay. So it messed up um, probably here my, yeah, the stretching in let me see i have some loops here this is using slice mode so i'm using st so the stretch modes are not supported i guess so we probably have to fix that um yeah also this loop here is fucked up kind of so the base is missing because we have no phase four here um, on Cubase, can we open up here the modulation? Oh, there are all the modulations in there. So I guess there are also the module, uh, so the automation is missing, I guess. Um, there is also no automation here on the base group. This is probably not possible on Cubase, I guess. Um, I have here automation. I have, I'm switching on and off here the delay. Maybe there's no delay on the, on the, on the group here. 
there actually is something to open up here the chain is there something like a chain i have no idea how cubase works to be honest um i completely lost track um so these are the groups now here Oh, okay, I see. So um, in Bitwig, we basically have here groups are automatically buses, right? So in Cubase, that's not possible. So we have here now a group, which kind of groups these uh, things visually together. And then we have on top the, the buses. And here we have then also no automation. actually a way to see what's uh, used in here i have no idea so but it looks like it can import at least some of the node clips here uh, some of the automation and uh, some of the grouping and yeah the slicing or the stretch modes are missing in cubase i have no idea how people can actually use this uh this to pay money for for this and say yes that's where i want to make music in right i have no idea but also people say something like i vote for trump in my own country so i have no idea um i guess there are reasons okay um can i close this here is there a closing button mixing console oh that's an and cross in the corner okay let's see so yeah it looks like it kind of work can i export here um dot project okay documents where i want to save this i want to save this to cubase <clears throat> test export okay okay so now we go back here to um bitwig and say can we import here stuff there's no import DAW project, but maybe we can open it. So let me see if this works. Um, test export. So let's open this up. Yeah, we can just open this, I guess. Okay, so this is how it looks like when I imported back the exported <laughs> thing. So we have all, then we have the drums. So this isn't this isn't tagged, but okay, this is strange. Um, let me see if their automation is also missing here on the base. There's no automation here. So some of the loops are missing, uh, but the kind of the structure is intact. Also here, all the buses are doubled then. Is there something on here? No. Curve EQ is here. So a lot of stuff is missing. But I guess um, that's the first implementation in Cubase. Um, and I don't know any other DAW that uses DAW project. Maybe if you know another DAW that uses DAW project, let me know. I test this. Uh, but I guess this is the first implementation so we can test back and forth, you know, export and import and export and import. And then we can see and test and um, bring in some bug fixes here and there. Uh, but I guess there's a lot of work to do. So in my opinion here, if you export this from, from Bitwig, then import it to Cubase, then some informations are lost, right? And then you export it again and then another uh, bunch of information is lost. But you can see it kind of kind of kind of goes in the right direction so there's probably some work to do here um so yeah let me know in the comments how important it is actually for your workflow do you plan to use actually this in uh, in real life do you want to switch between cubase and uh, bitwig studio for some reason um yeah would be nice to know but you can see it kind of works and it's actually nice that cubase which is such a big yeah, company implements a small side project of some Bitwig developers, right? It's really nice to see. And they also hope they um, support Clap in the future. Would be also nice to see. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. 
So uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like and le let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a subscription. See you next time. Bye.